um, praise be to Allah, we praise Him and seek His help. Whomsoever Allah guides, none can lead astray, and whomsoever He sends astray, none can guide. I bear witness that there is no God except Allah alone, with no partner or associate, and I bear witness that Muhammad is His slave and messenger. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Tahmidul Islam, Chief Operating Officer at Muslim Relief Worldwide. Today I will discuss a very important topic and it, that is which beggar should be given charity first and more often or not we encounter um, beggars in the street poor people and um, when multiple beggars come to us at traffic jam when you are in car we are often confused that which one should be given first so the question was raised is if we find more than one beggars one or many as if we find on the day of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha physically disabled, to whom should we give preference over others for giving charity? So the answer, the question was answered by Shaykh Muhammad Saleh al-Munajjid uh, in IslamKiwe.info uh, Praise be to Allah, helping the needy and giving charity to the poor is one of the best acts of worship and obedience. Allah says interpretation of the meaning those who spend their wealth in Allah's cause by night and day, in secret in, and in public, they shall have their reward with their Lord. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Al-Baqarah 2 is 2, 274. The greater the need of the poor person, the more mustahab it is to give charity because meeting needs and helping people are among the most important reasons why charity is prescribed. It was narrated from Umar ibn Ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, The best of deeds is making the believer happy, such as covering his aura, satisfying his hunger or meeting his need, narrated by al-Tabarani in al-Mujam al, al awsat 5 by 202, clusters Hassan by al-Albani in Sahih al-Targib 2019. Shaykh ibn Uthayman said, if it is said which of these eight categories is most deserving of receiving jaka funds, we say that the most deserving is the one where the need is the greatest. Because all of them meet the description, so whichever need is greatest should be given priority. Usually the need is greatest among the poor, hence Allah started with them and said interpretation of the meaning as satakat here it means zaka are only for the fukara poor and al masakin the poor and those who employ to collect the funds and to attract the hearts of those who have been inclined towards islam and to free the captives and for those in debt and for allah's cause for mujahidun those fighting in a holy battle and for the wayfarer a traveler who is cut off from everything a duty imposed by Allah, and Allah is all knower, all wise. Al Tauba 9 to 60. End quote. Majmu al Fatwa ibn Majmu Fatwa ibn Utaiman 18 by question number 251. It says in Al Mausua al Fikiya 23 by 303 Giving to those who are entitled to zakah is not all the same, rather, there are distinctions. The Maliki stated that it is recommended for the one who is giving zakah to give priority to those who are in hardship over others and to give them more than to the other categories. End quote. If the poor person or beggar is incapable of working and is prevented from working by sickness or calamity, then he must be given charity. Allah says interpretation of the meaning Charity is for fukara, the poor, who in Allah's cause are restricted from travel and cannot move about in the land for trade or work. The one who knows them not thinks that they are rich because of their modesty. You may know them by their mark. They do not beg to people at all. And whatever you spend in good, surely Allah knows it well. Al-Baqarah 2 is 273. Sayyid ibn Zubair said, these are people who have been injured when fighting for the sake of Allah and have become chronically sick, so they are given a share of the wealth of the Muslims. Al-Dar al-Mansur al 2 by 89 
what is meant is that the criterion with regard to charity is need and want if it seems to you that one beggar is in greater need than the other then he should be given charity first if the amount that you want to give in charity is sufficient to meet the need of both beggars then share it between them but if there is only enough for one of them then in that case there is no sin on you if you give it to either of them but try to conceal that from the other so that he will not feel any resentment or envy Shaykh ibn Abbas, may Allah have mercy on him, was asked if a man gives zakah on his wealth and it is a small amount such as 200 reals, is it better for him to give it to one needy family or to divide it among a number of needy families? He replied, if the amount of zakah is small, then it is better to give it to one needy family because sharing it out among a number of families when it is so small will reduce its benefit. End quote. Fatwa ibn Abbas 14 by 316. And Allah knows best. So I have a little request to you um, that is to please donate some money to our new organization in Dhaka, Bangladesh, Muslim Relief Worldwide. Uh, you can uh, bikash us. Uh, my personal Bikash number is 0162096504 and your money will be used uh, in fundraising project uh, and this money will be donated to the uh, poor street beggars of Dhaka and um, you can also donate us in our website uh, www.muslimreliefworldwide.com um, if you are international citizen and um, so Please make dua for us and stay with us. Uh, Allah Hafiz.